Hey, what is going on YouTube? So, um, I know that there are a lot of people out there that have been trying to figure out how to connect their Ryu Jinx emulator to their Nintendo Switch console. So many things on the internet, very vague, but yet people still can't connect. I've even seen a post where somebody had said that like 70 people plus have tried it and only two have been able to successfully connect. Well, I'm here to tell you that I believe that I have found a foolproof way. And trust me, I've been doing this for almost two months trying to figure this out. Because I wanted to be able to trade Pokemon from the emulator to my actual console. And of course, I am using uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. So with that being said, I'm going to show you what I've done to be able to connect my Ryu Jinx emulator on my computer to my actual Nintendo Switch console. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, give me some likes. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. You guys know the drill. Um, so uh, let me flip this camera around because apparently I can't do this on selfie mode. So here's the deal. Here's what I've done. So, I'm going to show you the settings that I have. Um, first, I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to freshen up on <clears throat> the actual console. Uh, you guys have to forgive me. I've been dealing with a little bit of a scratchy throat uh, since Saturday night. Um, so, I still have a little bit of a cough. So, my options. Here's the thing system all of this uh, going into settings into your system tab all of this is uh, checked and then going over here to multiplayer mode Ryu Jinx LDN do not click this make sure that this is unmarked unchecked it's clear do not check it um Network interface default. Do not put it on Wi-Fi. I have found that putting it on default is so much quicker. So we're going to close this out. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to pull this up in front as soon as I start the game. Because there's something very important that you guys need to see. Because there's a part of this that um, that a lot of people do not pay that much attention to. So it's get ready to start. I'm going to go ahead and enter into the game. And... Right here. This here created a wireless P2P port network on port. Now this number here may be different. Created a wireless P2P, P2P network on port. This port number might be different on yours. What you need to do in order to successfully connect because if you see anything under this that says that it could not connect externally to the uh, port it is because your Ryu Jinx is not properly set up your computer is not properly set up so what you have to do is go into your network router um, for me I have spectrum uh, the spectrum routers and I entered into the advanced settings and created a port assignment with this number 
39990. Once I created a port with the computer, not the switch, do not do not connect it with the switch and make sure that the computer is connected to your Wi-Fi uh, through your router. Once you connect the uh, computer to this port number and you enter into a game, uh, your Sword and Shield game, this will pop up. All of this right here. That And then you know that you're good to go. And of course, it's going to uh, filter in through all this mumbo right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that, yes, I am connected. I'm going to raise my lighting up a little bit. I'm going to enter into the options. Enter land mode. So I am officially set. Um, I'm going to set this down so that way I can enter land mode onto on my... Um, Switch console. So it pretty much booted up. I was already in land mode, but just to show you guys that I'm not uh, trying to um, fake anyone out on this, that this is 100% legit. Like I'm telling you, I, I worked for months trying to figure this out. And once this connects, it should be almost immediately. See? Not even, not even what, 10 seconds? And you can see. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade my shiny Articuno from the emulator with my Celebi. That was originally on the emulator. And I'm sorry, this lighting is so messed up, guys. The Celebi that was originally on the emulator that I traded over. Uh, definitely don't want to add to block list. And as you can see, Celebi up here. Articuno down here. We're going to trade it. And there we go. And I do have 60 frames per second uh, mod on here. So it is going to act really, really fast. But as you can see, Celebi is now on the emulator. And Articuno is now on the Switch. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, I know this is a little bit of a lengthy video. But I hope that everything I said was explanatory. I hope that it was clear. So, um, you guys have a good one. As I said, if you have any questions, drop them comments down below. Drop them questions down below because I am not afraid to answer any questions as far as this process. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys have a good one and peace out.